Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are on our new deck project in Tacoma, Washington. It has a killer view, which you can't see right now. If you like this video, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. We're rapidly approaching 100,000 subscribers on our channel and we wanna do a big giveaway. So let's get there quick by clicking that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so today is a great lesson for you. We are justifying elevation on our deck and it's kind of, I'm doing things a little bit in reverse today. So I just thought I would roll you through what we're doing and maybe somebody would get something out of this, okay? Before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Calvin Russell Rings. Calvin is an artisan from the Pacific Northwest. He creates custom handmade rings with all kinds of different themes and materials. He films nearly all the rings that he makes and puts them on social media. So you can be assured that not only are they authentic, but Calvin ships them directly to you. Calvin is running a special sale during the month of November. And if you use the code CRRDD25, you can get 25 percent off any ring in the store or any custom ring that you want made. I know you're not thinking about Christmas yet because it's not even Thanksgiving, but this offer only lasts until the 26th of November and Calvin Russell Rings shop will be closed for all of December. So go check out CalvinRussellRings.com, use that code and help out a small business. Let's get back to that video. So basically we're not attaching this deck to a normal section of the house like we normally would. We're actually attaching this deck to a concrete foundation wall, and then we're gonna hang our joists off of that and run our beams. So we've already got all of our mass core helical piles set in the ground, and we had to figure out how to put those to elevation. All right, so all these piles are already set to a specific height, they're already set to elevation. So the first thing that we have to do to figure out where do we make these piles? How high, how do you know doctor how to make these piles a certain height? So the first thing you have to do is figure out where to justify the height. Usually we justify the height of a deck on the house. Okay, so what I've done is I've chalked a line over here on this stucco, but basically this is a cement wall with a little bit of texture to it. This is the top of our deck frame, not our decking. It's the top of the framing. So that's what I always use for my height. My ledger board is gonna go right onto this wall. I'm gonna put some spacers behind it so it has a room to drain, and it's gonna be right to this blue line. How did I figure that out? Well, today I used this Stabila laser. So this is a Stabila, LAX 600G. We use a lot of laser levels in our construction. We have embraced this technology. We really like it. This one has a green receiver on it. So this is kind of a cool receiver. This is a uh, REC 500 RG. RG stands for red and green. I think we've done a video on this already. I'll power this baby up. I'll give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Now today is an overcast day. Unbelievably, I could see the laser everywhere I took a measurement. I really didn't need this receiver today. Now if the sun was out, I would definitely need to read this. Now this, this laser will read red and green, which is really cool. So we're using the green function today, okay? So just to show you how that works, you can definitely see the laser. Okay, it's, now I gotta activate this one button over here. Now this will start to beep. So once you're on that line, this thing goes solid and it's a solid beep. It goes from an intermittent beep to a solid beep when you're, le when you're level. So as we're building, that's really one of the lines I only need. I don't need the vertical. I just need a horizontal line so I can tell how high to go. So once we drove our piles, we weren't sure if we're gonna have to use a little bit of material in between the bottom of the pile and the, or the top of the pile and the bottom of the beam. But luckily we're able to adjust these high and low. These are made by a company called Mascore Helical Piles. Okay, so what we did was you can spin these to get to whatever elevation you need, right? I know that the thickness of my beam is nine and a half inches. The thickness of my joist is seven and a half inches. So that gives me a total measurement of 17 inches and I give an extra half an inch for drainage. So I want a number of 17 and a half from the top of this pile to the top of my laser, okay? Because I've already got the laser justified at elevation. So one other thing, I had to kind of take apart our tripod and dig a little hole for this extension pole. So, because I, I use my stuff a lot lower to the ground. Usually I'm trying to take a bucket or some old footings 
and set the laser on top of that. But this is a little bit more accurate way of creating that line that I need. And we've been using it all morning this way and it hasn't moved. Nobody's knocked it over and it's, it's very accurate. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my tape measure and put it on the top of this pile. And then I need 17 and a half. And you can see we're right there at 17 and a half inches. So that's exactly where I want this footing pile at elevation. So now I know I have my beam will sit in here, my joist will go on top of that, and I've got a half inch difference in height from that wall that's 15 feet away from this footing. So these footings are at 17 and a half, the middle row is at 17 and a quarter, and that line's at 17, so that I'm putting about a half inch pitch. Now remember, once these beams are in here, I can't spin these anymore, but I can still spin this to, to raise and lower this if the beams are crowned a little bit or I need to bring something up just a tidge. I can spin this either way to raise it and lower it to get it exactly where I want it. And that is how we're finding elevation. So we've got this thing set pretty much to about where we want it. And now I can make some micro adjustments after the beams, because not every beam is nine and a half inches. Not every joist is seven and a half inches. Some of these joists are thinner than that. So I might have to adjust the height a little bit. And this is a really convenient way to do that. So once everything is set, and I'm happy with all the elevations and we're getting ready to frame or maybe we frame the entire deck. Then we go back and we put set screws. There's actually a pre-drilled hole right here. And we take a set screw and we actually set screw through this and into the pile and right into the steel. And then that will hold things in place and it won't have any uplift. And then you cannot spin these anymore. But these piles are all six feet deep in the ground and they all hit pressure. So the odds of this moving are pretty low, even in an earthquake situation. So uh, they may though, they may, eventually something might dip. You can always come back, pull that set screw and adjust this if you can get underneath the deck. So there you go. On this particular project, that is how I justified elevation. There's several different ways to do this. This may be a little bit more of an advanced technique, but actually saves me hours of doing it from traditional methods, which we'll probably go over in the future. You can search our channel in the search bar and search for titles that we've done videos on, like how to justify grade, how to whatever you're looking for in deck building. And you might find our videos very helpful for you to be able to check that out. All right, so we got a jackhammer going on, guys. I gotta go see what's going on over here. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of my methods. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.